Okay, let's look at a, uh, a greater than question, okay? I think I just did a less than, a less than six. But, um, right, here we go. So remember, here's your two options. Right here, I'll do it underneath. X minus six is greater than three. Okay, that's one option. And just like with the less thans, you always change direction, change sign for the other one. So the X minus six, so right now, greater than, so I'm going to put less than negative 3, okay? So with both the greater thans and the less than questions, just remember, uh, one of the options is just as it's written without the absolute signs. Uh, the other one is, uh, again, kind of just as it's written, but change direction and change sign. Just look at this right there, okay? Look at them, okay? That's what I've done. You're going to add a 6 to both of them, aren't you? So add 6. Add six. Okay, for this one you have x's greater than nine. Okay, there you go. There's one option. Here when you add a six and add a six, you get x's less than what's that? Three. Okay, so there we go. That one and that one. Okay, there you go. Your two answers. Now let's graph it. Oh, well, I don't know. Uh, pretend that's a zero, all right? So one, two, there's three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so there's nine. Now then, here's what's different between the less than questions and the greater than questions, okay? Notice when the question was less than, it was always numbers in between two points, okay? I think the last one when I did the negative six to positive six, so it was stuff in between, all right? Now, with the greater than questions, you're going to get the stuff going away from the two points. Okay, so you're either going to get the stuff in between, that's the less than questions, the greater than questions are going to go that way, and watch this. Okay, remember, x is greater than 9, parenthesis, and it's pointing that way. Okay, excuse me, itchy nose. x is less than 3, right? So again, put the parenthesis going that way, and this one's going that way okay now look at that okay so now it's not the stuff in between right that there not there anymore it's between the three and the nine it's not there all right these are the greater thans and that's pretty much it for the graph okay so you've just graphed it now notice whereas um knows uh, whereas you just had basically one answer for the less than question because it was just from here to here and that's it you're going to get two separate answers for the greater than because you've got one over here you've got one over here okay so if I go here, this one here, isn't this negative infinity to positive 3? Negative infinity to positive 3, all in parentheses. There's no equal sign, okay? There's the interval notation for part of the question. That's part of the answer, okay? Over here, isn't this 9 to positive infinity? Again, parentheses, always parentheses with infinities, but parentheses here, okay? Now look at that. So basically, uh, those are the two separate answers for the greater thans, okay? Now, please be aware of this. We just put this in between to kind of link the two. There we go. It's like a U-shape, okay? There we go. That's the full answer right there. If I can kind of box it in without making a hash of this. All right. Um, not too bad. There, that's the interval notation answer. And we don't really bother with set notation for this one because in some ways, you know, again, because it's two separate answers, remember the last in set notation was a little awkward to write. Um, you've already kind of, in some ways, got these already written because it's two separate ones. There they are. In some ways, that is the set notation. X is less than three. You know, we can't link them like we did the less than question from the last one. That's pretty much it. It looks a bit of a mess, but there's the graph and there's the interval notation.